Hello, everybody. I made a tour in Spanish the other day in the exhibition, and some of you asked me to make a, another tour to the exhibition, but in English, so I'll try. Uh, sorry, you know my English is really, really bad, but I'm going to try to explain you all the pieces I have here. And probably the people in my village would think I'm crazy because I'm speaking in English alone here. But I, I want to show you the, uh, all the exhibitions. So let's start if you want. First, I, I show you the space. It's an amazing space. I show you the, um, all the building later because it's amazing. I really, live, I really, really love this place. It's in my village, so I know it since I was a child. And it has, it has been restored and changed, but it's always nice. So I'm going to start with all the pieces I have here. This is one of the chickens I made for an exhibition in Barcelona, and I, have, I still have it. The light is not very good, but it's not one of the, my fav favorite pieces, but I like it too. And after that, I have a few monkey masks that you know because I post them sometimes. The originals of these masks were made for the Jungle Book uh, musical and theater we made in Mallorca too with Barbara, my partner. So uh, I like them and I, I have made a few versions, versions of them and I really like the shapes. A mix uh, between a very strong shape and a little bit of um, organic shape. So they, they look uh, alive, but they are not lifelike. I don't know if I can explain myself, but I hope you like them. Uh, another one is originally, originally was um, uh, Shir Khan, but it's uh, a white lion here, and I like it. When I made them for the theaters, I made more detail than, than they need because I, I knew I was going to show them um, in other places. It has a little brook here, so I keep this one for me, and it's uh, usually it's in my home. One of the oldest pieces, uh, steampunk pieces I have, it was one of the first steampunk things I, I made. It was this kangaroo that maybe some of you don't doesn't know because it's maybe five years ago, and it's made uh, with a lot of pieces, and all of these pieces are handmade. Well, a, a few of them are founded and toy pieces, and some wood pieces too. But all this is handmade; is sculpted in clay and casted in resin, and assembled with uh, wire and metal. I said, as I said, it's one of the first steampunk things I made, and I like it. It's a little bit fragile, so I'm not selling it. I'm keeping, I keep it at home too, because you can see there are parts moving, and it's not the strongest piece I have made. And after that, we have in this wall a few pieces more, and we have three versions of Betseda. We have the original Betseda shape, the lightest Betseda shape with this mosaic finish and the wood Betseda uh, version. And this one I want to show you with uh, natural light because lighting is very important with this piece I have discovered. Because with you can see more the colors and the vibrations between uh, cold and warm colors here and a few of them. It's not easy to see it here but it's gold as gold uh, parts. So, there's people outside and I'm shy to speak English here. It's my village. Well, let's continue. Uh, I can change the camera now. Yes. So, this is the, the, these are the three versions of Betseda and we have one Erin. This robot with this, I, I, I try to show you more details than you can see on the picture sometimes. This wood texture and with this rust, two colors rust quality we have here. I like this one. I like the composition of this one. I think it, I, I have to uh, continue on this way to make more 
around the face. You know, it's, it's a bigger piece. Well, it's, it's not big, but it's, it has more, um, more things happening around the head. And I want to explore that a little bit. And under Erin, we have the mandrill. In one version, very rusted bronze version. And I like this one because a lot of people say it's very real, and I think it's not at all. It's very strong shape, geometrical. It has just the, the eyes, a little bit organic, and I think just the eyes make it um, everything real and natural. So you are welcome to come to my exhibition when you want, Matt Daniel, just you have to come to Mallorca. It, it's a, it has been an exhibition very uh, fast made. It's, it's not a very uh, uh, very long time plan. Plan. It's just something we, we made with the pieces I had at home and then in workshop. And she is my mother. This the portrait of my mother, and I, I of course love this piece. It's a home too. And if you remember the my piece, La Madre de Mazomeros, or the mother of Mazomeros, is based on the same face. She was not happy to pose for me because she didn't like to be watched. She has a very strong character. She's not with us anymore, so I miss her a lot. And it's probably the reason I love this piece. And in the other side, we have another interesting piece that I like too. It's Theo, the biggest version of Theo, with all this uh, environment of the head, uh, with I, I'll show you this part later, and this uh, transparent or oh, full of holes body with a mechanical heart here, a lot of pieces going on, and everything very, very funny to assemble and uh, to make. It's not metal, it's most of them, of the parts is plastic and uh, parts of mm, machinery, but um, plastic, more, most of them, and probably you will know that it's from a mask, from a face mask, filter, and that's all. And of course, you know, the details of this carved face of Theo is very, very fine detail, it's very, very small, um, deep. The deep, the deep is very, uh, it's not very deep, is that what I want to say, to, to say. And we can see the brain here, full of toys, that's toys of uh, kids in blue plastic, and this wood toys for kids too. It's assembly of toys, basically. I hope you like it. Uh, and we have here Adan Eva. You, you have a video showing the process, so I'm, I'm not going to talk too much about it, this piece. I like it, but you can see how I made it on the, my Instagram TV. We are going to continue, and we're going to see this very old sculpture I made in my um, old life, before the steampunk things going on, and before the sci-fi. It's a portrait, it's a real portrait of two brothers, of a friend I have. They are, I think, um, he's 30 now, so, so you can imagine how, how, how long ago it was made. So it's really two pieces separately. You can show this, was, this one alone if you want. And I like this Egyptian file, um, Egyptian vibes you can see here. And the sister is more asymmetric and different. Showing also the characters of these two kids. Uh, talking about portraits, kids, another very old portrait is Gloria. I know it's, it looks like a kid, but it was a, a girl, really. And I love the, um, I don't know how to say the, hieratism of this portrait. She is looking at you, and you are not looking at her, she is looking at you when you are in front. So it's, I, I like it. Some people don't like this power of, uh, of a character in a sculpture. They, it makes them uncomfortable, but it's what I like. 
And it was, a, uh, it was in plaster, and the plaster had a lot of problems, so you can see the texture here. But the texture is really from a damage, uh, from real damage in the plaster. It's, I can show it, you can see here like it is a little bit. And they painted just the day before the division to put it here. Another piece is a monkey robot. Uh, the, the idea of this one, um, it was uh, one day Barbara Malparno was sick and she was uh, seated on the bed with a blanket, just like this, and I loved the shapes, so I take her a picture. I think at the moment she was not very happy about me just taking a picture to make a robot piece because she was sick and she just wanted love and care. But I, I, I tried to do my best after that. I think she understood later. Uh, and one of the, well, I, I like a, a lot of things of this piece. It's one of these pieces that has not a continuation, and maybe I should make something similar to this sometime. But I like this mechanism, all the automata things happening underneath the piece. It's not really easy to see when you are just watching it like that, but I love, I like the fact that uh, it seems that there's something happening there. Yeah. I, I hope I'm not missing questions. Oh, uh, El de Morales, how could I buy one of the pieces? I'm on holidays now, so my Etsy shop is closed but it will be open soon, or maybe in September, because I'm, I'm trying to be, um, to really have a, a good rest now. I'm really tired. Uh, that's the mystery of Arteaga. It's based on the work of Sandra Arteaga, which I love with passion. And, well, you have seen it probably, but I want to show you the details of the carrot face. It's very f fine detail cut and all this metal work here and the old wood. Everything, everything is fake. It's not real, but it looks real. I hope you like it. Another piece, this, that uh, another girl portrait. Uh, she's the uh, daughter of my cousin, and uh, I, I started before going to China, before my travel to China, so well, in, between the moment I started until I finished it, uh, there were five years, but it's not, of course, five years of work, it's five years of a lot of interruptions for the movie industry and everything, so uh, it was really long to finish. But I like the finishing, the really nude of details. Um, it's, it's just shape almost everywhere. And I like it, this simplicity and compromise with volumes. And maybe you know this face, because this face, we are going to see it later, is the face of Vinna. We are, we, are, we are going to see it later. Another piece, very different piece, is my mask. This, that's a real mask I wear on, my, on one of the steampunk conventions we made in Barcelona, and I enjoy it a lot. And uh, all this fabric thing is made by Barbara, my partner. She's a custom designer, so when you see fabric on my pieces, that's probably her helping me on making him. Uh, that's also her idea, and I love it. And one detail that maybe is interesting for sculptures, if you are here, is this detail here is made on the plaster mold because this was uh, sculpted in water clay and I made the plaster mold. It's this just one piece. Uh, there's no copies of it. It's a lost mold. So uh, this was uh, just um, drawn with a metal uh, uh, with a metal point, I don't know how to say it, on the, met on the plaster mold. So it, uh, it shows like it's going off on the cast. I don't know if I can explain me. 
and probably you, you will understand me if you are sculptors. But it's a very simple way to make these kind of designs uh, and easy. Like a needle? Yes, a big needle. It's not a small needle. It's a big needle and not very sharp because I, want, I, don't, I don't want to go too deep. It's just a one millimeter, one millimeter and a half relief. I don't know if I can show you. Just, it's just that. And you can see it's handmade. But the secret is made in the negative mode. Right? The bases are not very good. They are moving a lot. And there's another steampunk mask here that maybe you know is a Grimald mask. I made it for uh, Francis Grimald. Uh, Daniel is asking, so you carved the detail with a spiked metal rod? Yes, it's just that. It's not the case here. This is a mask with a lot of detail on around the surface and it's not made like the other one. This is using a texture uh, wallpaper uh, and just pressing it on the clay. And I like also the, the holes with this more organic shape is sculpted in clay. Uh, a lot of different techniques here. One Ebenezer. I like the deep expression and hard to to say with words of this face. And I also like the, all the small wrinkles and details you can see here. That is very um, nice to, to have all this detail to, for the color. When you are making a color, trying to paint with some color, interesting color, you can see the turquoise here, the red, and a lot of different colors mixing just with the shape. Thank you, my Daniel. I thank you for everything, everyone here if you are watching this. Uh, two more pieces. One, Talo, the light is really awful. I'm sorry. I can show you better. And this is like this, one of these wood, carved wood robots. What I have to say is not real wood. It was carved on plaster, with, but with uh, wood tools. So the, sh the look of the texture it's, uh, it's like if it was uh, carved because the finishing, it's made in, uh, like that. Sorry, if I try to read the comments while I'm talking, I get lost because my English is so poor. But well, it's just that. And another piece here is Ken Nutt. Uh, a lot of different things interesting for you if you are sculptures or you are interested in on sculptures. I used a lot of toy parts here. That's from Playmobil, motorbike, and a lot of different things. This is carbon plaster from, uh, you can see that this piece here is the same piece than this one here. Just a little bit changed. And this mixed with the water clay. And this is another Playmobil mot um, motorbike. And this is from a water gun plastic in really blue and blue, really uh, cheap water, water gun, but it's interesting to see how everything mixed looks There's something real and interesting. Of course, this one is inspired in the old Egypt art. Mort. Um, more pieces. This is, came, of course, from my passion of the Dune book. Of course, this is inspired in the Bene Gesserit. I'm not trying to make uh, illustrations of the book. I uh, mean that it's really a Bene Gesserit, but it's inspired in the world of the Bene Gesserit. Like uh, something futuristic and medieval and these kind of things. Uh, do you always sketch your designs first or you? Okay, uh, no, I usually don't draw before the sculptures. I usually just sculpt directly. Sometimes I make sketches, but not for plan the sculpture, just exploring shapes or exploring char characters. But sometimes it's just um, uh, very different to the final sculpture. Uh, 
well, another girl portrait. It's the daughter of a friend, of very a very good friend, and I like a lot the color on the face. But the light is so bad. I'm going to try to, to find a, a, a better light for her. Well, it's not the best one, but maybe you can see it better. And finally, we have here Binna. That's the face I show. I, I tell you before that was the the, the the other girl, the other portrait girl we saw before. That's just Vinna with these robot marks. This one is the ivory version I kept, I kept for me. And she's in my home. And finally, we have these two little features. It's just small, like toys. I have to make more of these because I like them. I like them. And it's very fun to make. Well, to finish this visit, I want to show you the the whole building because it's very interesting but i have to walk a little bit and i have to walk a little bit speaking very loud very, very uh, loud no very soft because there are people here preparing a concert so just a moment well you can see something here that's really nice i showed you i show you how look at this this is a church that it was uh, begin. Uh, they begin to build at the beginnings of the 20th century, but they run out of money, and the civil war started, and a lot of things happened on the village, so they couldn't finish it, and we had no more money to finish it, so it stays like this since the um, 19. Uh, seven, I think. I'm not sure about the date, but I think it's like that, something like that. The light is not the best one now, but you can see it. It's a really amazing building. And I was playing here when I was a kid. And I want to show you uh, the whole view of it. And another detail, another personal detail that I like. And you can see it. I'm going to flip the camera so you can see a general view of it. It's amazing. It's really nice. It's one of the treasures we have here and nobody knows outside the village. Yes, it's a very good place to, to get married and a lot of people is coming here just for to get married. Even uh, people from England and Germany, they come here just for that. And finally, I want to show you my unique and the only one public work I have. It's really old. It's maybe 20 years ago, I don't know. But it's really, really, really old. And this, this relief is the, it's one of the big things I have made. It's, I'm not completely happy with it now, of course, but I like it. And of course, I'm proud to have something here in my village in a, such a special place like this. So, Thank you to watch this video and I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy this virtual tour to my exhibition and thank you. How old are me? Uh, I'm going to make 46 in two weeks I think. I think it's 46, yes 46. I'm old. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, Oh, sorry, where is it? It's in Son Cervera, the, the village is named Son Cervera, and it's in Mallorca, uh, an island in the Mediterranean, a Spanish island in the Mediterranean. So, come, came here when you want, because this is an amazing place to be. Well, as I said, thank you very much. I try to make more direct videos in English. I'm too lazy for these kind of things, but I, I enjoy it a lot uh, after that, so I try to make it more. Okay, thank you very much and see you soon. How oh, it's stopped. I can't find the button. <laughs> because my face has to be funny now because I can't find the button 
<laughs> I'm not good for machine. What's happening? Why the way is not working? Now. Goodbye. Why?